Hello Bruins, today we're going to be covering how to use the KCC library catalog, but first let's explain what a library catalog is. So if you've ever been to Ikea or another furniture store, you've probably seen that really thick book of all of the items they have available in store or through the chain. A library catalog is similar, it's sort of a holdover from when all the library had was physical materials. So it's a listing of everything we have in the library, but to confuse matters just a little bit, it does also include some digital resources, mostly ebooks. So to explain it quickly, the library catalog is a listing of all of the physical materials in the library. So our books, DVDs, CDs, playaways, models, everything else physically in the library, and also our ebook collection. So today you're going to be learning more than you ever wanted to know about using the library catalog here at KCC. So to get to the library catalog, first you want to get to the KCC homepage. In case you didn't see our video on how to use search all resources, to get to the library website, you can either go to library in this top bar in the middle of the KCC website, or you can go under services and find library there. You can also type in kellogg.edu slash library. That will also take you to this page. So you'll want to use the library catalog mostly when you're looking for books and eBooks. There are ways to filter for books when using things like search all resources or the different databases, but using the catalog is one of the easiest and it does have some unique features, which we'll be covering today. To search the library catalog, we want to click this link right on the left called search the library catalog. You can also use search books and more right here. Just click that tab and search, but I want to show off what the library catalog actually looks like. So that's going to be the method that I am using today. So let's like I said before, we're going to be covering all of the options on this page, not just ways to search, but the other features also available to you. So let's start under My Library. You can actually sign into your library account from here. You just want to click My Account, and that will take you to the login page. You'll be logging in with your same KID and password that you use to get into your email and everything else here at KCC. And then when you get there, you'll be able to see a list of everything you have checked out, when it's due, if you've renewed it or not. You can also renew material right from this page, so you don't even have to come in or call the library to to do that, you can do that straight from the library catalog. Also under that My Library section, you have a direct link to the About the Library page. You can also suggest a purchase for the library if there's something you're interested in getting that we don't have. I'll show you other ways to get a hold of things like that though in just a second. And there's also a place for you to leave your comments here. Under this Help Topics, there are some things to help you searching the catalog, and some of these will also apply to our databases, to search all resources, to searching on the internet in general, so feel free to check these out if you're ever curious. Under What's New, you'll see our featured lists, which is also listed at the very top right here. Either way gets you to the same page. So here you can view particular types of resources. So let's say you want to know what DVDs we have in the library. You can actually just go under that feature films list. And this is going to list all of our DVDs. They are in alphabetical order, starting with numbers and then going through the A's, the B's, all of that. There's a similar thing for our Playaways, which is a type of audiobook. It comes on a little almost MP3 player that you can listen to books that way. And there are some other lists available right here. So again, if you ever want to check that out, that is available either under what's new featured lists or featured lists at the very top. This is also where you can find your course reserves. Um, course reserves are textbooks that we have available free to use in the library. These are sent to us by instructors, so if your instructor has given it to us, you can search either by their name or by your course number. Again, uh, just pick whichever one you know. I'm going to do course number here. And so, for example, we could do um, History 103, just because I know we have an entry there. Click that and it will show you the name of the textbook if we have it. If it doesn't show up, that might mean we don't have it. You can always call just to double check though. And just so you know, almost all of our course reserves are for in-library use only, so you can read them, study them in the library. You just can't take them home with you. And we do that just to make sure the most amount of students have access to these textbooks. And there is also a direct link to the Ask a Librarian feature that's going to take you to our contact page, giving you different ways to get a hold of us, um, whether that's 24-7 chat, which is this box on the left. You can also leave an email form here or get a hold of the exact person you want to down under this department contact section. All right, I think I've put off searching long enough, so let's just get started now. So in this search area, you can change from keyword to title, author, or subject, depending on what you know. Most of the time you can just leave this set to keyword, that's going to pick up the title and author most of the time. And if you have things like you have um, author last name first or something like that, uh, that tends to capture some more of that if you just leave it as the default. But if you are looking for a specific author, a very specific title, um, it's good to know that those options to change that are right there. And if you don't see the area you're looking for right here, 
under this more searches box, you will find even more options. So let's say you know the ISBN number of the book you're looking for, the call number, which we'll cover in just a little bit. Uh, there are even more options here. So just keep in mind, uh, you can even go to the advanced search and get very detailed. Most of the time though, in the catalog, you won't need to worry about that because it's a much smaller collection. So there won't be quite as much to filter through. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it lighthearted today. We're gonna search for dogs. All right, so we're getting several types of resources here. You'll mostly find books and eBooks here, but like I mentioned earlier, we do have things like DVDs, CDs, playaways, and those will all show up here. So to tell what is what, um, on this left column here, you'll see, for example, this first one is a book. This is a book. This little icon here means this item is a playaway. Um, if it's a DVD, again, you'll have unique items for all of that. Ebooks will have that little red E right there. Um, so let's say this is a book you wanted to find in the library. If you have questions, you can always ask at the desk. We are happy to help you find materials. If you do want to try to do it yourself, though, I'd recommend writing down three things before you go. The first is going to be the title, so you remember exactly what book you're looking for. The second is the location. That's going to be a floor in the library, so that's going to be level one, two, or three. Uh, just keep in mind that the library is a lot like the classroom building, where you walk in on the third floor. So if you're coming in through the main entrance, you're already going to be on level three, so that book would be right on that level, whereas level one would be two floors down. So just keep that in mind. There is some signage around, but some students still get confused with that. The third thing you want to write down is the call number. So this one is a children's book, and I just know that this this C here means it's part of the children's collection. It does also say over here the location is the children's collection. So you'll write down C D O G in this case. Um, for nonfiction, you'll sometimes see a string of numbers. Make sure you write all of that down. Um, you kind of go in order, so it goes in numerical order, and then under 814.6, it is then organized by that string of characters there, alphabetically, numerically, whichever shows up first. So you want to write it all down and match the number that you've written down to the number on the shelf and then the number on the item. And again, if you do have questions, I know it can be kind of overwhelming at first, so please feel free to ask at the desk if you have any questions. Before you go anywhere, though, you do want to make sure that the status here does say available. Sometimes it will be checked out or in processing, something like that. If you have questions about that, um, feel free again to call the library. Just make sure that the item is available. It looks like all of these are. Sometimes if it's a popular book though, it might be checked out. Like some of these are in processing. So you'd want to place a hold on those. The next topic we're covering is ebooks. So again, some of these are going to be electronic materials. You won't need to worry about finding them in the library. Instead, you'll click this website link. If you're off campus, it may ask you to log in. It's gonna be the same KID and password you use everywhere else at KCC. And from this page, you're looking for a link that says full text or download, depending on what you're hoping for. So you can read through the full PDF full text here, or you can download it. Just click one of these links and you should be all set to go. And if you have questions about using eBooks, we did touch on this in our Search All Resources video, and it will be covered in depth in a future video just focusing on using eBooks. The other topic I want to quickly bring up is Melcat. So for those of you who don't know, Melcat connects us with almost every library in the state of Michigan, and it allows us to borrow books, DVDs, CDs, um, lots of different types of items from other libraries in Michigan. So to access that, let's say I'm looking for, for a particular book about dogs that isn't showing up here. I could click this Melcat link right here. It would save whatever I just searched, take me to Mel, and show me all of the entries throughout Michigan that I would be able to check out. If I saw one I liked, I'd want to click get this for me. So this one looks fun. Let's click that. From here, you would want to go to your library, in this case, Kellogg Community College. Although if you are a member from another library that does participate, you could select them instead and have it delivered to that library. If you are using KCC though, you can either log in with your KID and password or your name and your KID. Either is fine, just pick whichever one you happen to remember at the time. And like with eBooks, if you have more questions about Melcat, there will be a future video just focusing on Melcat, how to use it, how to get to this page, all of that great stuff. So that's essentially everything you need to know about using the library catalog. Again, this is going to be what you want to use if you're just looking for books, ebooks, or if you want to know what other types of materials like DVDs, playaways, that kind of thing we have physically in the library. That's going to be when you're using the library catalog. Most of the time you can stick to databases or even just search all resources, but it's good to know how to use the catalog when you need to. So hopefully that covers everything you need to know, but if not, as always, you can ask questions in the library or using the chat service on our website. Hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.